Hey Scorpio, it's going to be a love reading for you guys, okay? General love reading. Baby, baby, baby. Okay, two of wands is is the overall energy with the nine of wands. Somebody here, when it's, as soon as this two of wands came out, I was like, somebody has two choices. They want to move forward, but they're unsure. And somebody kind of wants to go back to the past because it feels comfortable to them, right? Um, but they're unsure about the future because the future feels skeptical. Like somebody's super skeptical of the future, okay? Like somebody's been through a lot of shit. You know, you may have gone through a lot of things in your life when it comes to like love connections with people, um, certain certain folks, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it was rough, right? But you stood your ground, you made it through. I feel like now you're like, I'm a little bit guarded. Like I'm not gonna like rush stuff with people you know, new people because I've been so hurt in the past. You know, people have been dishonest with you guys. You're just guarded because the queen of the queen of swords is here. Okay. The queen of swords is here. So if you're, I feel like very strongly divine feminine, right? You, you know, you're, you're coming out as this uh, queen of swords. Okay. You are like, you want new love. You're doing everything you can to actually like manifest new love. You've been doing a lot of healing work. You have been setting a lot of strong boundaries with people. Like, you're not playing any fucking games with anybody in this temperance energy. You are like, no, I want new G G Gemini, the magician energy, right? You're doing everything you can. You're like, okay, all I have to do is set boundaries. This is how you've been feeling. You know, turn your back from the past. Right. And um, just wait for new love. Right. Page of Cups. Wait for new love. You want something new. You could be dealing with a younger, um, a younger fire sign or a younger water sign. They don't have to be or um, but I'm just saying temperance. OK, this is the stuff that came out. There are two people here. Like, I feel like you guys are going to have multiple options. And I really feel like this is definitely a situation where it's like you're still kind of clinging on. There's a past person in your energy. There's somebody from the past who wants you back, okay? I feel like for a select a few of you, it, your past person could be the person who you set guard, your guard up with. And you're like, I don't know if I want to try this again. And like, you, you, somebody wants to reconcile here. You might be a little, like, not a little, but you're a lot. You're very, very skeptical of this past person. Um, a lot of you, I feel like you're going to have a choice in between an ex and a new person. Okay. Now, let me tell you more about this new person. Okay. Because again, remember, you're in the energy of you're on guard. Your guard is up. Okay, so either you've met a new person or you're about to meet a new person. Okay, so keep that in mind. You're going to be like extremely cautious of this new person because whoever this new person is, honey, they fine. They fine as hell. They fine as hell. You hear me? They fine. Okay, male or female. It does not matter, honey. Somebody's sexy. Okay, they sexy AF. They are. There's a lot of sexual flipping chemistry here. Somebody is fine. And the reason I say that is King of Wands, okay? We already know. I feel like this King of Wands is somebody who gets a lot of attention. Bottom of the deck, Six of Wands, I'm just saying. But the thing is, this person actually wants a commitment with you. So you might meet this person and be like, oh, they're a player. They're too fine. Or they get a, a lot of attention. But no, you don't. what you don't see is this person wants ace of pentacles with you underneath that the emperor this person may get a lot of attention because they're in the public eye uh they may get a lot of attention because they just that damn fine and sexy honey when i tell you whoever this person is they are very mature this is somebody here who listens to their intuition they trust what they do they trust when spirit tells them to to go do something, they fucking do it. They listen to their, ooh, look, I'm saying that because the high priestess is here, Pisces energy, Aries energy. This person wants something stable, which I'm telling you. Underneath that, Ace of Cups. 
this is what this emperor has to offer. So I feel like you're going to be very guarded with this person because you're going to be so sexually attracted to them to the point where you're going to literally be like, damn, this person definitely, they're just playing games. They're just playing games, right? But no, they're not just playing games. Right? You're going to think, damn, there's a lot of attraction. And the attraction is going to be mutual. Because you fine too. Okay? My collective, y'all look good. This person, there's going to be a mutual chemistry. Mutual attraction. Right? I, I'm tell Listen, I'm, I'm showing you the cards. A mutual sexual intense attraction. Sexual chemistry came out. Hold on. I'm going to show you. Right? Look at what this says. Hot sex with an amazing lover. <laughs> so you guys are going to be like, no, no, no. Pump the brakes. I do not want to jump in bed with you. Male or female. I'm not going to jump in bed with this person. I want to do stuff different. I've been hurt. I've been through some shit. I've been hurt. I've been through some shit. I feel like this person is going to be very like patient with you. Especially with seeing this temperance energy here. Because this is somebody here who wants to offer the Ace of Pentacles, which is something very stable. It's long term. It's like, okay, I will invest with you. I will take it slow. I will, I'm will. i willing to plant this seed and water it and nurture it before I, you know, smack that you know what. That's the energy is really giving, y'all. Like, I haven't seen a reading like this in a minute, okay? Another reason why, other than, other than the energy of this emperor, right? Regardless, right? You think this person is a player. Don't judge somebody by a book. Well, don't judge a book by its cover, right? This person has this to give and they're willing to give it to you. It says getting engaged or married soon. So this person is going to want something long-term and mature. Mature relationship came out. This is so clear and so opposite of the energy we got last night if y'all didn't watch last night's reading go watch it the the energy in last night's reading was um like there was a karmic fighting with your ex and somebody else and like i feel like your ex's energy came out or this could be a totally different group of y'all that this might be resonating with but but ex energy came out i'll get to that i want to talk about the good stuff all right but this this person here I feel like I'm talking to somebody who's older, right? You're not in your 20s. Some of y'all might be in your 20s, but I feel like I'm talking to someone who's older, who's like been married, been divorced, or been in a long relationship, and you have kids. Some of y'all even have grandkids. Whatever that is, I feel like y'all are like, I'm so guarded. Like, it is what it is. Like, I'm okay with being alone. If it's not if it's not a healthy relationship, then I don't have to have it. I'm, I'm satisfied with being by my damn self until the right person comes along. I feel like y'all have really been focused on yourself. But whether you know it or not, regardless of your age, there's still somebody out there for you. And I feel like whether you're older or not, this union between you and this new person is this person is going to support you. They are going to be dependable. They're going to be very loving and, and just stable. They get a lot of attention. They fine as hell. So make sure you're secure, which I feel like you are. You know, Queen of Swords is secure um, in themselves and a great communicator and somebody who thinks head over heart. So you're not going to like fly off at the handle and be crazy as hell. You know what I'm saying? I feel like y'all are pretty good. Y'all, y'all are pretty good. You're in good energy, but just give, give this person a chance to get to know you. You give yourself a chance to get to know this person for who they really are and not what you see on the outside. I'm not, I feel like this person's body, this person may work out. Um, somebody could be in the military or somebody who could be retired or whatever it is that this person does. I feel like they're very, very fit. Like body is banging. Body is banging. Somebody takes very, very good care of themselves. Now, the X card came out, okay? Um, somebody here is younger in a situation, okay? You could be the younger one. There's going to be an age gap here. Either there's an age gap in between you and your new person or you and your old person, okay? That's not for everybody. You Just, just know that you can count on this new person. And you can take it slow with them and everything will be fine. 
just because there's a strong chemistry and sexual attraction doesn't mean that that is all there is to the connection. But I would advise you to trust your gut and, and take things slow with this person at your comfort level is all I'm saying. Like take things at your comfort level because this person is going to be patient enough with you to do that. They're not going to rush you to do shit, but honey, but when y'all do... It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Like, literally, when I pull these cars out, um, Trey Songs, I'm about to dive in, came on. And I was like, oh, okay. I, I see y'all. I see y'all. I see y'all. Okay. So, you're going to have a choice in between an ex and um, a new person. So, what you going to do? What you going to do? So let's go ahead and clarify. Let's see what's going on with this ex, okay? Because we already know who you got coming in for you as far as a mature, lasting relationship with somebody who is confident, they're sexy, this person gets a lot of attention, this person may have a lot of power, they may be a business owner, or they're definitely like a leader of some sort here. Like I said, somebody could be in the military or like, I just, I don't know, special ops forces. They could be like a physical trainer or something. I don't know. Somebody's definitely physically fit, but there we go again with your energy. You're like guarding yourself. Seven of Wands, or this is you blocking, um, you're standing your ground with uh, this past person. Yeah, just make an effort to try and trust this person, this new person, to get to know them, please. Okay, show me the energy of the ex. What's the energy of the ex? When it oh, 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 ooh, hold on, I dropped the card. The wheel, okay, the wheel. Let's see what else for the ex. So, seven of wands, the wheel here. Mm, 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 mm. Could be dealing with a fixed sign or you could be a fixed sign. Somebody's like, I've moved on. I don't want nothing to do with this. Or this person feels like you've moved on and you've blocked them. You set your boundaries and you don't want anything to do with them. Show me the energy of the ex. Shit, they could have blocked you at one point and ended things. And now they're like, I want to say I'm sorry. And they miss you. We'll see. Show me the energy of the ex. Somebody wants a reunion. Reunited and it feels so good. Four of Wands. Here we go with the dumb shit. Show me the energy of the ex, please. The ex. Yeah, see, somebody's confused and they can't let you go. Four of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. They're confused. They, they think about you quite a bit. They can't, they think about calling you and talking to you. Um, I feel like this past person, this ex was stubborn. Show me more of this ex's energy. Very stubborn person. Okay, they, they've been watching you too. Yeah, see, since the ending, Ten of Swords, Page of Swords, they've been watching you. This person has, hold on, I'm going to show you. This person been watching you since the ending. They've been looking you up. They've been on your social media. They've been asking people about you, whatever it is. They, for some of y'all, they've been gossiping. They've just been like sitting up in the cut, in the background, just lurking, right? Now, for some of y'all, this could be your twin too because the two of wands came out for your energy. I know this is your energy, but this is the energy of you being skeptical about everybody. Shit, anybody that you feel like might be playing games, this is a different day. I feel like this this, this is your energy right here, right? This was you. So we're talking about this past person's energy right now and look at what came up. So they could be mirroring you, two of wands. They're waiting. You're, if some of y'all are waiting. Don't get mad at me, please. Don't get mad at me. Okay, they know that, uh, it's, I feel like it's really breaking this person's heart that they aren't able to reunite with you. They thought that you would have reunited by now. 
and they want to bring an offer in. But I feel like they're coming in with this page of pentacles. I just saw the page of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. They're going to have to come in. Yeah, see, five of wands. I don't know if somebody has karma coming in or some drama or some inner conflict. Show me more here. So this person hasn't come towards you yet to offer you this page of pentacles. This, this pentacle, right? It's a page. Keep that in mind. They haven't come towards you yet because it's taking their ass so long because they have all this either a drama or some form of inner conflict. And again, if it, I mean, if the inner conflict, I see the ten of, this ten of swords here. Somebody could be have gone through an ending in their own home here. I don't know. Or in their life or in their family. Somebody in their family could have passed away too. I don't know. That's not for everybody. Show me more about the past, the excess energy for the collective, please. Ooh, show me the excess energy. The emperor just came out. Aries energy could be dealing with an Aries. Yeah, this person has taken a long ass time. This emperor came out, but I feel like we're dealing with two different people. You're definitely dealing with two different people. So you have two emperors. One person has drama. The other person is mature. They do not have drama. Okay. But the, this past person here, Knight of Pentacles, I'm telling you, it's taking this person forever because they were stubborn. They refused to change or they had some form of drama going on that they've been trying to get together. Or hell, they need to get themselves together. Some of you all, this person could be a King of Pentacles, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And the reason this person hasn't come towards you because they're, they've got an ending. they they got to end something else, Ten of Wands. Or this person has some form of burden or drama in their damn life. And for some of you, the burden or drama is the fact that they're not single. Scorpio energy with the judgment energy here. Show me more about the X. One more card for the X. Child, this X wants to renew and reconcile. I don't know what else to say. Ace of Cups. Past person is trying to manifest you back. Show me more here about this past person. Yeah, you're marrying each other. You're you're marrying this person. Um, if you feel you're under duress or feeling solemn, I feel it too. When you're thinking of me, I'm thinking of you too. Our connection is deep and profound, sometimes difficult to understand. You're marrying this person. Literally. Literally, you're I told you that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody is doing some shadow work. They are, but there's still some drama. Yeah, the drama was that this person, that five of swords energy was that this person was literally like not thinking for their damn selves. They, was wor they were worried about whatever the people were thinking. They were disregarding their own feelings. They were going along with what everybody else said and what everybody else did. And so that's why you had to really put your guard up with this person. For some of y'all, you didn't even know there were people in the background trying to convince your past person, you know. Um, and some of y'all are done with this shit, but yeah. This, you inspired this person to be somebody totally different and totally new. They, they, you know, your... Um, um, what's that division? Have y'all, if y'all, do you know divisions? Um, DVSN, but it's division. It's like an R&B group. They have an album called, I think, My Muse or Muse. There could be some significance in that song. Go watch the video. Go watch the video, Muse. Okay, there could be because this person, that's the way they feel about you. They feel like you, <laughs> they feel like when they met you, they won and hit the lottery or some shit. Like, they feel like you're going after whatever it is that your heart desires. <coughs> they feel like you're getting whatever you deserve out of life. The things that you want, they feel like they see you as a go-getter. And they feel like you've been successful and you inspired this person to do things that they've never done before to pursue their dream. For some of y'all, you could be dealing with a Pisces. Somebody could be born in 1993. <laughs> Excuse 
excuse me. <coughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why all of a sudden my allergies. <coughs> Somebody don't want me to tell y'all this. Okay. Um, Tank fucking with me just came on. That's what you get when you fucking with me. There is definitely some strong chemistry with somebody. I mean, you you could technically have strong chemistry with both people. But I'm telling you now, there is somebody new. <coughs> Excuse me. There's somebody new that wants to be with you. And you might write them off because you feel like, oh, it's all about sex or all they want is sex. That's not true. That's not true. I'm telling you. <clears throat> All right, let's move on. Yeah, listen. Somebody's heartbroken that y'all are in separation right now, like I said. Somebody has some really big, like, insecurities. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like... This person ran away from you. That's why you set up boundaries with them. I said, yeah, there's an age difference. I said that, right? Look at that age difference. There's an age difference between you and this person. So there was an instant connection between you and your person. Somebody either had, like, you've never either, maybe you never dated somebody, y'all. It could be, like, looking totally different. Um, there's a different, a difference in maturity level, I feel like, okay? I just feel like you guys took a break from this person to take care of yourself, show your work on your goals, show yourself some self love, you know, and, and in the meantime, you've manifested again. I think we talked about this um, because some of this energy came up and I'll put the uh, link below. Well, you know what? I put it on the end screen because the reading I'm referring to was like you're manifesting something, a new person. That energy has been coming out for like the past two weeks where you're manifesting something new, but that includes this ex that a lot of y'all don't want that does not have it together. They don't have it together. And like literally a younger lover who isn't sure what they want. We already talked about the age difference, right? So a lot of y'all are dealing with somebody who is, um, yeah. Anyway, let's get a little bit more information about the new person. Because I feel like if you take things slow with the new person, they are wanting to offer something real stable with you. This person wants kids uh, or they may already have kids. Um, somebody may have fertility issues or challenges. If you're worried about fertility issues or challenges, I feel like you're not going to have a problem when you meet with a new person. Like, if you want children, you'll be able to have them, okay? You'll be able to have them. I feel like in the past, that was an issue. Some of y'all will be combining families and somebody's going to already have children, okay? But this new person is single, okay? We are living single, in the 90s kind of world, I'm glad I got my girl. What? That's right. You're this person's single. I just saw the nine of pentacles. I'm telling you, show me more about the new person, please. Because I'm telling you, three of wands, the new person is ready to move on. This is somebody that you can grow with. This is somebody that you can travel with. This is somebody who's going to expand your horizon, show you something new. Okay, this is somebody here who's ready to like, they're ready to go. This is somebody who's going to take action. They are, they say something, whatever they say, they're going to do it. Like you're in this two of wands energy. Like, no, 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 wait, wait, hold up, hold up, wait. And then your ex is like, hold up, no, 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 wait. This person's like, nah, let's go. Okay, I'm just saying. Show me more about the new person, please. And thank you. Mm -hmm. Told you they single. Nine of Pentacles came right back out. But what? this person does not want to be single anymore. This person don't want to be single no more. This person is a little bit lonely. They're looking for somebody to spend the rest of their life with. Show me more about this person, please. Yeah. Seven of Pentacles. 
This person and this seven of pentacles damn near came out in reverse. So this tells me this person is, does not want to wait anymore. This person is growing very impatient. They don't want to be single anymore. This, like I said, this is somebody here who's going to want to plant the seed, nurture the seed, water the seed, watch it grow and be patient with you and take time. But I feel like, you know, I'm just saying, show me more about the new person. It's a good thing. We'll see though. We'll see. Ooh. Hold on now. That's too many spirit. Can I have one at a time, please? Show me more about the new person. They could be a Gemini. The magician wanted to pop out again. There goes the emperor. Look, girl, sis. Oh my God. Look at this. This is the person you're about to be having good sex with that you're about to be attracted to. That's fine as hell. And look at what came out. This emperor is going to be looking at you like, I'm about to dive in. Okay? Look, she's, she's so cute. She's so fine. He's so good. He looks so good. I don't know any other way to describe this. Like, what I said, this is exactly what it is from the beginning, right? What? The Ace of Wands? Man, y'all gonna have some babies. If you don't want a kid, then I said bottom of the deck is the Sun card with the Six of Cups. Could be a soulmate. Eight of Pentacles. This is this is good. Eight of Cups. Eight, eight. The number 88 could be significant. Somebody walked away here from something to work or move for work. Or to work on them damn selves. Yeah, and they were healing. Yeah. This could be both of y'all. Dang, this is good. Good, good, good. Sun card here is guaranteed somebody having kids. I'm just saying. Give me one more for the new person, please. This emperor is looking at this queen of wands like, get over here, okay? This is exciting when I see, like, when I see, this is somebody here who's really going to want to travel with you. Show me more about uh, the world card, because I'm not getting like a negative. Show me more. Clarify the world card, please. Yeah. This is somebody here who's going to want to travel with you. Look, okay. This is what cl clarifying the world card, the King of Cups. On the bottom of the deck is this Knight of Swords. Bottom of that, Queen of Cups. This person and then the Knight of Wands, y'all about to win. You, I think the two of you are not going to be able to slow down. You're going to try so hard, but I just don't know if you're going to be able to do it. Or y'all are about to be doing a lot of traveling, but this is coming towards you. This is a soulmate. We already saw the Six of Cups. So the two of you showing up is Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. Hmm. This person could have also in the past been a player and they just, you know, remember we saw the um, judgment card. I feel like, you know, in the four of swords, like somebody did some healing or whatever and they walked away from something. Somebody could have walked away from a karmic and ended things with the, somebody else and closed out a cycle with somebody else. And you did too. You did too. Um, That's exactly what this is looking like. So, we, we saw the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands here between you and this new person. Now, I think with the old person, we did see the Ace of Cups, right? We did. But it was only coupled with the Page of Pentacles. So, I don't know how stable this person is right now. They still have drama. This other person doesn't seem to have drama, this new person. So, keep that in mind. Okay, let's see what Zodiac signs you could be dealing with. Good reading. Hit the like button. Join us on Patreon. It's, you could be a Scorpio or dealing with a Scorpio, a Virgo, Aquarius, um, Capricorn, Aries, Taurus. And the song that's playing right now is Does He Do It by Trey Songs. The new person going to be like, does he do it like that? You going to be feeling like the new person 
can't even compete with the old person. Some of y'all, it might be vice versa. Somebody going to be feeling like somebody else ain't doing it like the other person. And they going to get it and they going to get it good. And if you don't want to have a baby, I will suggest you wrap it up. I love y'all. Bye.